Hi all you painter folk out there and welcome to another edition from Edie and my wonderful Estelle, the trusty cameraman wife. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the channel. So you catch me in the middle. I was going to shoot this at the end but something's just come up so you guys better watch. So this is our head to head. <laughs> Your favourite and mine. And Liam from Travel and Bruise, you'll know, you'll know where I'm going. You'll know where I'm going. Space Hopper and Painter One. Fantastic. We're currently also doing a video at the minute at the same time on Short Brew, which is a five and three on Space Hopper. That should be coming out in the next couple of days, so stand by for that too. In fact, by the time this comes out, it'll have already been out. So go back and watch it. Because Space Hopper is, I think it's just as good on the Short Brew as long, but that's a different story. So these two, this is Space Hopper in Painter One. This is Big Dipper in Painter Two with the hop oil and all that good stuff. Um, now it says on the bottle, now this, this is a big claim, this is a big claim, like Liam, you'll like this. Space Hopper's big sister. Really, that's big boots to fill, that's big boots to fill. We're gonna do these on a long, um, seven and seven for both, and then do a taste comparison at the end to see if they're actually the same thing, or is this better, or, or or whatever it turns out to be. But I wanted to show you guys again, Big Dipper behaves just like Space Hopper. So, pond, very, very pond thick, water. Yeah, very, very thick in, in the <laughs> bottle. Uh, so we have to rinse that out and give it a really good shake with not boil, boiled, but not boiling water. But look how thick that is. It's just, I mean, there's no way. There's no way you shake forever, and especially in this heavyweight champion of the world thing. So, get that. Yeah, wow, that's thick. That, in fact, do you know what? That actually might probably be thicker yeah, than Space Hopper, if at all possible, because it's really taken me a while to get that loosened up in the jug. So, yeah, so same as normal. Don't stick it in there. Stick it in here. Give it a good swirl, and that really, I mean, pretty much, guys, do it for all the brews, you know? It just makes life easier because there's nothing worse than you spend all that time brewing, taking the dock off at the end and it being full of syrupy sludge. So do us a favour, mix it before it goes in, save yourself a lot of hassle. So I will continue on this evening getting these both set up and stirring a lot and uh, you'll join us next time when uh, we'll dock the two of them or undock even the two of them, hop this one and stick them both in the well hopefully by this stage we've got nice and cold outside and we'll be able to do a cold crash you can have a look at that too and see the benefits so uh we'll see you in, see you in a few minutes welcome back painter folk uh, just a quick jump now to the next stage what we've been doing is we've got space hopper and big dipper in painter two space hopper and painter one we've been brewing for eight days give it an extra day now, I'm not an enormous fan of the longer times, but we're going to try and make this as fair as possible on Big Dipper because it's got big boots to fill. So, uh, eight days brewing, we did two days cold crashing. This is now going to be undocking both. I'm going to let you see what the trubs look like coming out of both. And then what we're going to do, we're going to deviate slightly from what the instructions say um, because on tropical debate, I did what I was supposed to do, so undock first, then hop it, or no, sorry, hop it first, then undock it, and did we lose any going straight down? I'm not sure, but I didn't get some sort of amazing hoppy taste off it, so what we're going to do, we're going to deviate from that slightly, like my first mistake, we're going to undock it, get rid of the, the dock, so that the unit is still sealed, and then hop it, and see if that gives us better results with the Big Dipper. So, so here we go. We're off on to Space Hopper on Painter 1. Now this should be a good, good pop anyway. Oof. So that's running, as you can see, that's running nice and clear. Yeah, it's that's nice actually and clearer than normal. There's a, the, oh, here it comes, here it comes. The cold that. crashing does that, honey. Here it comes. It means, yeah, so that, that looks a good result with regards to Space Hopper. Space Hopper can sometimes, Dark Matter gives a really, really strong trub worm, as I would call it, 
Uh, Space Hopper sometimes doesn't, so that, that looks like a really, really good result for Space Hopper. So, thumbs up on that. So, when you're doing Space Hopper, my advice give it a good brewing time. Do cold crash because then you get a nice clear run like that. Um, yeah, thumbs up on that one. Okay, hi. So, now we're on to Pinter 2. I've uh, taken out the hopper cap because it doesn't do anything as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it doesn't release any pressure, it doesn't do anything. So, we're going to take, uh, undock this. And Estelle's going to show you the trub on Big Dipper. Well, hopefully we hope. We mm -hmm. hope, yeah. Hopefully it's as good as uh, Space Hopper just was. And then afterwards, I'm going to put this in. I've taken all caps off, so we're ready to go with the support at some high. So let's have a look at what this is like. Again. Ooh. A healthy Ooh. pop. Wow. That's a big one. Now, it didn't run as clear to start off with, but wow, really fizzy. Um, that could lead to interesting stuff when I'm tapping, but mm. okay, All right. So we'll keep this. We'll hold this up because now it's sealed. Can't go anywhere apart from into the beer. Screw that down in. Make sure it's all right. You put the cap back on. <laughs> I think put the cap back on. <laughs> but it doesn't really do them because it's the same thing anyway. So, yeah, we're we're pretty happy with that, aren't we? Looks good. Yeah. Didn't know it was clear to start, but <clears throat> that can only be. Yeah, maybe that's what it does. But, you know, it's uh, plenty, plenty of fizz. Plenty of fizz. So we'll give that a clean up, guys. Um, we'll stick it in the fridge and then going to leave it for a further we've really done two days cold crashing so that's part of the overall uh, seven so in another five days we'll finish this wee video off and post it all online for you so hopefully this will all uh, and then you'll be able to watch the whole thing and it'll be interesting to see when what still may think of uh, the comparison between Space Hopper and Big Dipper thanks for watching hi everybody welcome back so time has elapsed and here we have the heavyweight championship of the world! Uh, Space Hopper in Pinder 1 and Big Dipper in Pinder 2. Now, uh, actually, it was seven days brewing in each, from if you, I think, if, you, if you've already watched this, you'll know. But um, we did two days cold crashing uh, and then it's been slightly longer. We did an additional six days in the fridge. We tapped because you have to. We tapped Space Hopper last night. Um, it looked good, uh, if a little bit cloudy. This shouldn't, or Pinter 2, because of the designs so and all that, shouldn't be cloudy. This was still a little bit cloudy, but we just didn't have a little taste, honey, didn't we? Just a tiny taste. We did a tiny taste. <laughs> what did it taste like? Uh, usual. <laughs> well, it's actually slightly. I, it's actually quite a nice one. Yes, if anything, it was slightly very peachy. nicer than normal. Very peachy and very yeah, fruity. It was, and, it, was, yeah. it was lovely. So, we're going to um, let the pressure off. Uh, Pound your one. There we go. And really let it off a little bit. So, that's just a little bit of a little bit of a cheat, but I just wanted to let it off a little bit. So, I'm going to go for these. They are not etched because the, the initial pour out of both is quite lively so you don't want to give it any any additional bubbles so we're going to go for space hopper first so it is coming out nicely carbonated i don't want to rush it so bear with me on this one and then we're going to just pour one glass of each and then Estelle and I are both going to taste this. And at long last, give you guys our impressions to see if Big Dipper is even anywhere close to being as good as Space Hopper. So, there's, there's Space Hopper. Now that's a pretty standard Space Hopper, isn't it? Mm -hmm. that's, yeah. It's, nice it's, still, a, it's still a bit of he is. Uh, nothing too dramatic. Uh, it looks... It's fizzing away nicely there, nicely carbonated. So it looks, it looks like a really good space hopper. Put so. that one behind the space hopper, oh. so we know which. What's that? No, I don't have. Don't worry, I don't worry, honey. 
So we trust it. It's only 50 50. So this is going to be quite scary bit because um, this is. I'm going to set that there and jiggle that up. And then we're going to go straight to 45. Oh. Actually, yeah, a little bit of a pop. And then. You've got ice cream. We've got ice cream. So. But that's, I mean, it didn't go hissing out all over the place. No. Which, uh, so what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to save that one. We, have we more of those glasses? Have we? Uh, have we? Nope. Mm. Uh, oh, we've something close. We've something close. We'll do, we'll bring out Super Shop. I mean, that's not bad for an initial, for an initial pint or two pour. Jiggle. Straight to 45. It's looking a bit better. It's, yeah. It's just you get that initial... Fuzz. I was taught in the bar trades, you never pour high high beer through a high head because it just, it just makes it worse. So... But that's not bad. I mean, that'll sell. That'll sell. So... Now... Okay. What hmm. do you think, honey? That's. I would. Uh, it actually looks quite similar. It's not. It's mm -hmm. not. Yeah, like, it does. Mm -hmm. Madly clearer, but no. So I think it's. How's the bubbles in this one? I think it's a bit clear. Mm. What do you think? A bit clear? Mm. Maybe. We'll have to see them Maybe. Maybe. side by side. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's not a mad difference. No. No. Yeah. Mm. Okay. That's a bit interesting. <laughs> a big dip of taste like space opera. I'll eat my hat. <laughs> if I have the hat. Mm -hmm. Now, so, please call it first. Okay. I'll pass this over to Estelle. We'll do a quick swap round. Sorry for the spin of the camera, but we will. Sorry about the hand. Now. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers to all our supporters and. People who follow the channel. Mm, peachy niceness. Peachy, peachy niceness. <laughs> Seven percent peachy niceness. That's it. That's a nice space opera, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You've really outdone yourself this time. Yeah. So. Really nice. Right. Put space opera down there, mm -hmm. and then grab, grab big dipper. I'll let you go first this time. B for big dipper. B for big dipper. Pardon me, that was nice. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's really passion fruity, actually. Uh, mm. Passion fruit. Yeah, lovely. Is it? It actually really is nice. Is it? Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> We're in trouble. We've got 20 pints of loveliness. Mm. Oh, maybe that is really nice. Is it really nice? Really, really nice? Mm. Uh oh. Passion fruit and peaches and. Mm. Right, gimme, gimme, gimme. Don't be greedy. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll try, and, we'll try and swap over nicely here. What was this? Really? Is it really mm. nice? Yes. Oh, this could be dangerous. Mm -mm. That's really nice. I don't get the same. I get. You had COVID. Maybe you yeah, can't. Yeah, I'll show you. I had COVID. Yeah. <laughs> That's really, really nice. I grew up in Africa and that reminds me of Africa. Oh! Nice. Oh, oh, oh. That is it? different. It is nice, isn't it? Oh wow. It's it's different? Yes. Yes, it's not it's definitely not the same. Is it yes. equally as nice? Yes it is. Yes, but they're uh, different. But for ah uh, yeah. I think there's actually There's more peachiness to the yeah. space hopper smooth up, space hopper, and there's more passion fruitiness to that one. And I think a bit more, I think, I think adding the hop oil separately after you undocked it has definitely given this a bit more depth mm. than that. Because mm. Space Hopper is quite, quite um, predictable. Mm. Whereas that's definitely got a bit more to it. It's 100% better than the first Big Dipper we did. Mm. Where it was like water. That wasn't Big Dipper. Was it not? No, that was... Tropical debate. 
Oh, yes, so you're sorry, you're right. No, this is, that's much, that's much nicer than tropical to be. Tropical okay. to be was a bit of a... Give us uh -oh. that. Give us that. I won't be joking. Give us that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and the good news is you can just keep that in the fridge and just pour it as it is, whereas obviously with Space Hopper you have to um, spin the thing and spin it a bit. But folks, good news is if you've got a big dipper or you feel like ordering it and you're worried, is it going to be the same? It's not the same. Is it as nice? Absolutely fantastic and it'll keep longer. Uh, it'll keep its carbonation longer and it, you can even see I mean, it's holding its head better than in Space Hopper, which is actually a bit weird. I know that it had more but head But they really are with. like nearly identical in colour and clearness. <laughs> but and yeah, both both absolutely lovely. So guys, yeah, thanks for joining us Stella and I once again on our reviews. Uh, next up, we've got more reviews coming. We've just, what used to be Cloudy Nine Cider, we've got it ordered, whatever the new version is. It's coming for Painter One. And uh, we'll move on to what's in the fridge, honey, that we got. I was going to say, you have, you have a cider. House of Hops. No, you have uh, actually it arrived the other day when you were away. Oh, did it? Okay. Whole Nine Yards. Whole Nine Yards will be reviewed for Painter 1 as well House of Hops for Painter 2. So please like, subscribe, all that crap because, uh, yeah, at some stage I'd like to get over a thousand subscribers because that would be cool. And I might actually earn 2p a video or something, whatever it is. But yeah, thanks very much for everybody. Oh. One. So yes, thanks very much everybody. Thanks for watching and we'll see you all soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>